You are very, very lucky uh, to be one of several thousand to get to see the guy who I'm going to interview now. Bearing in mind that 33 million people tend to watch his stuff. This fella is a man who's a radio DJ, is a stand-up comic, and he's also very well known on the Copper Night YouTube channel as Eurofan. So will you please welcome Tom Deacon. Thank you very much. Thank you. How are we doing, City fans? Are we good? Good, good, good. I, I Thanks wonder if for having got, me. That's a, it's a very great pleasure to have you here. I, I wonder if you've got a business card. There's a lot of things to have on your business card. Yeah, too many things, too many things. I don't want people to hate me, so please make them <laughs> like me. Um, yeah, no, I'm the Euro fan, so um, I, I cannot wait to watch Manchester City tonight and support them. I'm wearing the jersey. I'm excited to be here. One of the things you do, particularly on days like this, is that you, you learn the ways of being the fan of the club that you follow. You've been to Madrid, to M Milan, you've been to all these wonderful places. So what have you done today to get in the mold of a blue? I've been hanging out with a few amazing bloggers, um, uh, chatting to them. I also got a little interview with Patrick Vieira, which I can't uh, knock. He even laughed at one of my jokes, which is nice, uh, <laughs> which was tough, very tough. I've watched the under-19s and the EDS. Uh, I haven't seen it. I haven't met enough of the fans that are out here, so I want to chat to them on camera and find out what it's all about being a City fan. If you're around in the next few minutes and you have an opportunity, come and seek Tom out and he'll have a camera with you. So make sure the makeup's all ready and the hair is all in the right place because you may well be uh, on YouTube uh, later on. Uh, tell us, as you are the reporter who saw uh, the EDS game uh, earlier on, how did that go? Uh, not, not the best result, that's all we can say. Um, Man City were leading 1-0 and then unfortunately in the second half there were two goals. A possibility for getting that, that, you know, the, the next goal to get a draw. But unfortunately, Patrick Vieira is optimistic that they'll get the next three points they need to, to qualify. You've done the right thing being a fan. You've, uh, you've picked out the optimism and you've made sure yeah. that everything yeah, yeah, definitely. is going to be okay after hey, that. Hey, no one needs to cry today. But no, basically what I do for the Eurofan, uh, for those of you who don't know, is I travel around and I support a different Champions League team, hang out with the fans, tend to have a couple of drinks with them, get merry, uh, and then put a video up onto YouTube at Copper90 and then you get to see what it's like being a fan uh, experience. Some of the wonderful things that I've, uh, I've watched you do, you, you went to Madrid and you had to buy a ticket. Yep. M Milan, you struggled somewhat and had to yeah, go yeah. buy a certain dark Dodgy route. Deals. Dodgy deals. To T get tell a us a little bit about what it was like in those two places. Uh, I mean, amazing. I mean, obviously to go to the San Siro, is, uh, it was a dream come true, but you couldn't get a ticket for love nor money. They'd sold out a long time ago. Uh, and obviously they didn't know the Milan fans, they were gonna win two nil against Barcelona that night. <laughs> so I had to pay above and beyond the money to a man from Naples, very dodgy, got in a car, headed out miles to an internet shop. Listen, I'm not going to bore you with the story. Basically, I got in there and that's the main thing. And that's basically what Eurofan is. It's a bit guerrilla style. You know, we don't get a lot of help necessarily from the club. So we, we're just like fans. Like, I'm a fan just like you guys. And, um, but now I'm worse than Ibrahimovic in the fact that I've supported so many clubs. <laughs> Tell us about the idiosyncrasies of the foreign fans, because clearly Manchester fans uh, have their own ways. They have their idiosyncrasies, their ways of expressing themselves. What is, what is it like in, in other countries as well? Oh, well? There's a lot of passion. Like, you know, we're, we're British fans. You Man City fans seem very passionate. You've been, you've had a kind of yo-yo past, and now you're reaping the benefits and, you know, looking like a strong team. Compared to Europe, they, um, they live and die for their team. They are quite aggressive on camera, to say the least. I've had some scary situations. But as I say, Man City fans are amazing. I'm hoping to have a chat with these guys out there today and find out what it's all about. We'll send you out into Thank the throng. Thank you very throng. much. Uh, so this is uh, a great opportunity for you to meet them and then to meet you as well. Copper 90, it's a YouTube channel. Get on it as much as you can.